Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. I am your host, Karina Calhoun. I am your business strategist. I am the introverted ambition bully, and I'm super excited today. I am like overjoyed. I am thrilled. I absolutely love the folks that come on the show, and today is no different. I have on the show today with me, Rietu Messi, and I'm super excited. I apologize for probably messing up your name. I got it right correctly. I just want to acknowledge that. Listen, my name is Karina and I've gotten Karen. I've gotten Katrina. I've got, I've gotten all kinds of mispronunciations. And so I'm really, really big on that. So I want to make sure I do get it right. So how are you doing today? Hey, how are you, Karina? I'm absolutely amazing. Very, very blessed to be in this show. I hope everyone is doing amazing. I'm doing great and I can't wait to interact with all of you. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> so give us the correct pronunciation of your name because we want to get it right. That is important for us. Yes. Yeah, so it's Rietu Messi. Rietu Messi. Yes. Perfect now. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. Very I, love it. I love it. <laughs> so tell us, please, where in the world are you? I'm in South Africa. So this is the girl from South Africa. Yay! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes, yeah, so I'm from South Africa I'm in a small town called Rustenbeck in the province of Northwest. Okay. And are you are you from there? Have you lived there all you li- are you all of your life? I can't get words out today. All of your <laughs> life. And have you been outside of your area? Absolutely. I was born and bred here in Rustenbeck. So I actually, yeah, until the age of 18. So I had to go to varsity. So I had to move out of the city to another city uh, from, you know, one province to another. So I had to go to a different province, a different city in Johannesburg to pursue my dream. So that's how I got to be in a different province than Northwest or a different city than Rustenbeck. So I actually got to be in Johannesburg. So it's a giant aspect. It's a big city where everyone comes and build their dreams, you know, go to school, get work and all of that, build their businesses. So actually it's a very big city. So I actually went there to pursue my dreams. So I started my first year there. My varsity life started there. So yeah, that's how I got to move from my city to a different city. I love it. I absolutely love it. I have not personally been outside of my country. So I'm always, I know, I know. I'm always curious. I know. I'm always curious when I. Let me not judge. Let me not judge. We are the same. Actually, why am I judging you? (laughs) That's why I asked. That's why I asked because, you know, I'm always curious when I talk to folks out that are in another country. Have you been outside of your country? Because I have Mm -hmm. not. I've been to other states inside of the United States, but I've never been outside. So I find that very, very interesting. My daughter, who is, she'll be 26 next month. She has been out of the country and is at one out of the country again. So, you know, listen, I'm going to catch up. You and I will catch up. Me and you, we have to catch up. Like, really, we have to catch up. We can't be like this. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. But one day is one day. (laughs) Exactly, exactly. So tell us how you're loving on the world around you. And I have a feeling that it is just absolutely amazing and beautiful what you're doing and how you're doing it. So absolutely, absolutely, absolutely an amazing woman (laughs) so yeah it's exciting i mean i just got to finish my studies so recently i graduated this year around may so i completed my bsc in biomedicine and i was graduating this year so honestly it has been um a very difficult journey but i remember i had a dream to say you know what i just want to be a career woman i just want to be a woman that you know follow her dreams and I think I took that very seriously and I had to go to study. I remember I had difficulties, a lot of difficulties, especially when it comes to money. But otherwise, I'm very pleased to be a graduate. And on top of that, I said to myself, like, you know what, that's not enough. You know, so we're living in a country where we have a high rate of unemployment. How Mm. about I actually start something for myself? Mm. So... 
yeah so then i started my own business you know and then i'm i'm just there enjoying everything i'm learning every day i'm interacting with different people you know i'm still growing i'm enjoying the entrepreneurial life you know and learning a lot from other people as well so i think i'm i'm just there to enjoy myself enjoy what i do love my job and i also love seeing people you know looking beautiful you know when you when you're done doing makeup and then you see like oh wow i look so beautiful i look so gorgeous and they just smile so i love love seeing people happy i love making people beautiful so that at the end of the day i can feel like my life is also beautiful you know this i absolutely love how number one your personality just really shines through then that makes you not just because you're listen for those that are not watching but you're listening you need to go watch the video because she's absolutely <laughs> beautiful absolutely stunning but then the personality that comes through is so bubbly so warm so welcoming that it's like it just magnifies and intensifies the outside and so i think that is absolutely wonderful that you know that that is who you are and that's what you are how you're loving on the world around you and just the fact i want to point out a couple of things just the fact that you said you know you wanted to create your own avenue your own streams of income really and that's those are my words but that's basically what you're saying because you know i feel like that is absolutely ideal and it doesn't really matter what country we live in just the fact that there's dreams and ideas, there's goals, there's things that we can accomplish, you know, but then the flip side of it is really reaching across borders and saying, listen, let's come together and talk about this. So I love that you and I are having this conversation. This is an international conversation. And so tell us what is the business that you have? You kind of hinted around to it, but tell us what is the business that you have? Okay, so I'm into a beauty industry. So that's why I was talking about making people beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, I enjoy, enjoy doing that a lot. I'm enjoying that a lot. So I'm into a beauty industry as a makeup artist. So I actually started 2021. So I actually did a short course and then I finished the course and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to start something of my own. I don't know where to start. It's not going to be easy. I was still a student by that time. I did not have enough money. You know, people were telling me about marketing, how is it important, how to do this and that. And I think I was patient enough to follow that dream. So yes, a bit few months was like a bit difficult, actually. You know, building clientele is not easy. I had to spend so much time investing into that. You know, on the other side, I had to study, had to write, I had to write exams, assignments and all of that. So it was not easy, but I managed to do so well. So as I'm speaking to you right now on Facebook, actually across all my social media, particularly Facebook, I have over 5.6K followers. And, you know, it's been a beautiful journey because I remember, <laughs> I remember when I started the page, I'm like, who's going to like my page? Maybe it's going to be five people, 10 people. <laughs> and like, I think it was within seven months and within seven months already, I reached, I think around 33K followers by the time. But now I'm sitting like, I'm sitting on 6.4K followers and it, is, it, is be, it has been extremely beautiful journey. And uh, last year, I said to myself, like, you know what, I need to add an extra skill to my business. You know, apart from being a makeup artist, I just want something else. But in beauty industry, within the beauty industry as well. So then uh, last year, December, I decided to attend a short course as well. And then I did a permanent bros. So I completed the course as well. And then I'm proud to say the first skill was makeup. And now the second skill is to do permanent bros so i'm dealing with ombre so you know we have different kind we like we have micro blading we also have ombre we have the mixture of both so i'm specializing in ombre bros so now i have i know two skills added to the business ready the best beauty that's the name of my company so yeah awesome 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 <laughs> i absolutely love all that you're doing and i love how you are you know you're looking at 
the metrics, you're tracking all of that, because regardless of what industry we're in, we really need to have a really good idea of what the numbers are mm-hmm. looking like and what we're doing. And then reevaluating. Maybe I need to add something like you said. And so mm-hmm. that is absolutely amazing. So tell us how, you know, we know that you are, you're in, in Africa, you're in South Africa. So for yes. those that are in other countries, how can you service and support them? Okay. So on daily basis, I usually get requests like, I want to know how to do my eyebrows. I want to do how to put foundations. I want to know how to do this and that. And I say, you know, a distance is not a boundary, you know, and I usually advise them. So because like I usually have the WhatsApp group for them and then they can connect. So we do an online class. So usually tell me that, you know what, can you please do the online class for eyebrows? You know, how can I do proper eyebrows? And then I do connect with them. Same, like like now you're in the USA and I'm here in South Africa and we're connected. So the same thing. So I'm glad that, you know, our social media is very, very, very powerful. We can be able to connect no matter how far you are in the world so i do online classes for those that are far from me for those whether you are in a different country different province or you can't come through we can't meet but those that are very far i really encourage them to connect with me so that we can do online classes one-to-one class or with a group of i don't know i think 10 usually i do group of 10 so that i can give each and everyone an attention that they need so it's really doing well last i remember I was talking to a lady from Botswana. So Botswana is a different country. I don't know if you know about it. And she actually needed uh, help. So actually she wanted to, actually she wanted to learn about eyebrows. She wanted to learn how to put foundation. She wanted, she also wanted to learn how to like apply blush, you know, apply highlighters and yeah. And then actually I did a uh, one-on-one class with her over, over WhatsApp. So it has been really great. So it made me feel very confident that I can actually do it with other people as far as the USA, you know, and other countries. So I really can't wait for this. You know, and I love that you have this opportunity for people in other countries and just the fact that you recognize, you know, listen, I have historically had a love-hate relationship with social media. I've hated (laughs) a lot of the things that I've seen, the negativity and, and things like that. But I love the absolutely positive, just you and I, you're on one side of the world, I'm on another side of the world, but yet here we are talking and communicating and loving the world around us. And we've come together to do this on this day. So I love that social media allows us to do that. And so being able to provide these services for people who are not right there sitting right there in front of you uh in real life as far as you know you being able to touch them i love that you're doing this that's really you know it's amazing that you have come up with this idea and you you know you're thinking outside of the box and so that is so so key so pivotal pivotal for those that that want to be able to Uh, get these services. So tell us how we can get in touch with you. All right. So I'm on Facebook. So on Facebook, you can search using the name Ritu the Best. I'm just going to spell it out. So it's R-I-I-T-U space D-E space B. E S T space beauty. So I'm using that name across all my social media. So if you are a Facebook person, you can, you know, search it using Facebook and search it using Twitter. I'm also on Instagram. So yeah, okay. people can just search me and then do follow me. And then you get everything there. Also my personal contact details. I love that. So what is what has been the the response that you have gotten from women as you have walked them through these services with being able to support them. You know, I know I have for myself, I have in the past, I've talked to people who said, well, Karina, you know, I want to be able to do my makeup. I, I do very basic makeup on myself, but, you know, I've had people comment on it and say, well, I, you know, I'd want to do it. 
And it never dawned on me before, you know, years ago that this is something that we could do online in an online space. Mm. And the fact that we're doing this, you know, I, and I keep harping on this because I want people to really understand that, like you said, I love what you said, that distance does not matter. And so I want to keep harping on this because I want people to understand that it doesn't. It absolutely doesn't matter. So what has been your experience with the women that you have served and supported when they get the things that they need, they get the services, they get the teaching, the understanding, and they feel more confident? What is it that you get? What What are you seeing from them? Okay. Absolutely. The feedback has been absolutely amazing. If you can go to my Facebook page right now, with the name, we did the best. <laughs> um, you can actually see the reviews. I've got 100 reviews. I've Actually, to be precise, I have 109 reviews, positive reviews. So my, pa- my page got five star fully. Yeah, so this 109 reviews written, absolutely amazing, positive feedback. People are happy about me being professional because usually when I go, you know, like I do actually call out. So if you can come to my place, for example, I do call out to actually go to that line directly. So there are other clients that prefer, you know, their comfortable homes and all of that. So I don't mind coming to them. And when I do that, usually I have the uniform that I wear that's, you know, written, that has my my logo and everything. So people do love that. So they can see that I take my job very seriously. So they enjoy seeing me <laughs> all professional, you know, everything proper, my bags. I Like I have branding on all my bags. So everything that's me, I have branding. You can actually see my name, my logo. Everything is perfect. So people really love that. And yeah, I've actually gotten review about the time, how quick I answer my messages, my calls. So people are very happy about what I do and actually helps me to keep pushing, helps me to want to do better for my clients, you know, making sure that they're happy, making sure that they're comfortable, make sure that, you know what, they don't choose other people. <laughs> they always come to me, you know. So I, I'm, I'm very pleased. If you can go to my Facebook page right now, you can literally see 109 recommendations, reviews. So my page is kind of on five star, literally. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing. So tell us one more time how we can get in touch with you. Yes. Yeah, so I am available across all social media. So if you're a Facebook person, Instagram, whichever way, I always use the same name. So you can go and search redo the best beauty. I'm just going to spell it out for you again. It's R I I T U space D E space B E S T space beauty. And you're going to see everything that's me. Awesome. So listen, folks, if you are looking for someone that can actually teach you how to apply your makeup, the different techniques that you need so that you can feel good about yourself, especially in this age of of visibility, being front and center, doing lives, Facebook lives, Instagram lives, LinkedIn lives, YouTube shows, all these different things that has the branding part of your business. If you want to feel better, feel more confident, okay, with the (laughs) techniques that you're using, you know, it's fine when we go to YouTube and we we learn how to do specific things. But when you can go to someone and get your specific questions answered, that tops it all. That absolutely tops it all. So please feel free to reach out to Rietzu Messi because this is something that I believe is going to be a part of our future, a part of our present actually, I right now. And so any last words of wisdom that you may have for the audience? Okay, just to add to that, guys, don't don't forget, it does not matter where you are in the world. It does not matter where you are in the world. Please do hit me up anytime, anytime you want to. I'm literally available anytime. Just hit me up, either you use inbox or use my WhatsApp number that you're going to find there. So this dance is not a barrier. Yes, about <laughs> my, my motivational weight, I'm going to say, guys, you know what? You need to stand up for yourself. 
there is nothing as beautiful as waking up every day with the mindset that you want to be a better person. There's nothing better that you wake up every day with a mindset that you want to do better. You want to become, you know, the woman that you want to become or the man that you want to become. It does not matter where you are. It does not matter your background. It does not matter. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to push your dreams. Because if I can tell you, no one will come and save you. No one will, no one will come and do better than yourself. You are the one that can take yourself to places. As long as you have passion, as long as you are dedicated, as long as you are responsible, as long as you work hard, you are going to achieve your dreams. No matter how long they take, no matter where you are, do not doubt yourself. Age, just a number. I always hear people saying, I can't do this because, you know, I'm 40, I'm 50, you know, I'm already old. And I say to them, like, if you have passion, if you have a dream, you are still alive. It's possible. You can still do it. There is no time limit, especially when you talk about something that you really love, something that is close to your heart. I remember I had to come back home 2020. I was supposed to do my final year and I had to drop out of school because I did not have any fees to pursue my dream. And it was very painful because that was supposed to be my, my last year. I was supposed to graduate 2021. Unfortunately, I had to be at home the entire 2020. I remember I came back uh, the following year, 2021. I think it was around May. And already I missed a lot from the first semester. So I had to add an extra year, which it was something that I was not looking forward to, but it happened. I had to accept, like, you know what? I was home the entire 2020. I could not do one, two, three. So I had to add an extra year. I don't have a choice. And it was supposed to be my final year. I was hurt. You see people graduating, your peers being, you know, being employed and celebrating their life. And you are there going back to school to achieve your dream. And what I did was to tell myself, like, you know what, I don't care if, you know, <laughs> my peers are doing this and that. Yes, it's fine. I said that, you know, one, two, three happened in my life. I had to come back again and finish my studies. As much as it was painful, but I was able to do it. So I had to come back 2021 to finish my studies. And then the following year, it was actually my last year. I'm talking about uh, 2022. And fortunately, here I am. I'm with my degree. I graduated May 2023. I am so excited. It shows that when you have passion within yourself, no one can come and take that away from you. So you need to be realistic about your dream. You need to be yourself. And I'm telling you, the world is going to celebrate exactly the person that you are. And you are going to achieve your dreams. It does not matter the age I'm repeating. As much as I say to myself, like, you know what, I witnessed my peers graduating and I was crying, like, when am I going to graduate? And literally it happened two years later. So it does not matter, guys, as long as you have the will, as long as you have the dream, as long as you're willing to work hard, you are going to achieve it. Wow, what a very moving, inspiring, just really from the heart statement. So for those of you that are listening, I encourage you to listen to this several times. Put it on repeat. Get it down in here because living your dream, it there may be a delay, but that doesn't mean it stops. And that's in essence what she's saying. You know, I'm not trying to put words in her mouth. But that's how I hear that. The dream may be delayed, but keep going. Absolutely keep going. It is imperative because at the end of the day, whatever whatever it is that you're purposed to do in the earth, there are people that need you. They absolutely need you. So Red to Messi, thank you so very much for joining us. Thank you for being a part of this absolutely wonderful movement of being a part of this world that desires to reach people any and everywhere. I absolutely love that you're doing that. So folks, this has been another great episode of Go Be Great with Coach Karina. I am your host. I'm your business strategist. I am the introverted ambition bully. So I will see you all on the flip side. Bye for now.